Oh, well, everyone, back again with some days gone. Um, I've destroyed some nests, and now in this video, uh, we're going to enter the cemetery and see what uh, there is to be found. I'm getting a little bit better with the weapon. Not great, but. Yeah. Well, a lot of freaks in here about it. More on his own. A lot of cars up there to be serious. I'm going to take this to can keep out of the car. Dirty bastard. Bounty. So I'm going to go away uh, actually in the cemetery. This has got to be it. Now, where'd you hide the stash, Leon? Can you use this? Uh, Which way? Uh, maybe in one of these. Oh, shit. Yeah. Boozer! Booze man, are you listening? Uh, oh, you're not gonna believe this. I just saw a goddamn chopper! A, a chopper? What, what are you talking about? A Nero chopper! It, it just buzzed right over me and acted like I wasn't even there! Wait, all this time and a fed chopper shows up out of nowhere? Yeah, I'm gonna chase him down and I'm, uh, uh, I'm gonna see what the hell they're doing! Hey, Deke. Cause Barbara's just standing off. Don't get too close till you know what the hell they're doing. Don't do anything stupid. Hell no, I'm not gonna do anything stupid. <laughs> what the hell do? Get in the bush again. Work this out. Can I jump over that? Can make something out of this. Can't jump over that fence. Mm. You make it back to me. <laughs> well, I want to make it back to my oh, shit. <laughs> 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 Get on the fucking bike. Oh wow, isn't it? Oh right. Okay. That's how many you go here, so there's some things to be done. I was telling me to just hide here, okay. Right <coughs> then. Oh, I 
Let's go there. Get the fuck out of here, do I? Okay, fair enough. Shit, that didn't work. Shit, I'll be down. Alright, gonna get ready now. Well, where do we have to go? Hold on, hold on, they're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. Shit. Bye, bro.
As of five to six hundred, we have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at... Hey, Doc, I see Site 23 on the roster for tomorrow. That us? No, that's O'Brien. Got it. Oh, shit, where was I? We have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at the High Desert Grotto, now designated Site 15. Trampling of grasses and plants at the entrance, and the presence of footprints, see attached photos, indicate the site has been used for some time. Must be nice and cozy in there. According to the motion sensor planted by Lieutenant O'Brien, approximately 447 subjects have entered the cave this morning. Recommend sending a follow-up team sometime after 1900 hours to assess the cave's interior and further assess conditions. Note to Dr. Anderson. Your theory about the subjects devolving to a primitive state of nocturnal behavior is seeming more appealing all the time. End report. Not going inside. Fucking O'Brien. Did you hear me? Over He's 400 not subjects. And these if aren't just your regular one of the refugee mill freaks. Camp. These are... But then what the hell is the Sarah? No, no, no. Forget it. Forget it. It can't, can't be. Subject's hibernation location at the High Desert Grotto, now designated Site 15. Trampling of grasses and plants at the entrance and the presence of footprints, see attached photos, indicate the site has been used for some time. Must be nice and cozy in there. According to the motion sensor planted by Lieutenant O'Brien, approximately 447 subjects have entered the cave this morning. Recommend sending a follow-up team sometime after 1900 hours to assess the cave's interior and further assess conditions. Note to Dr. Anderson, your theory about the subjects devolving to a primitive state of nocturnal behavior is seeming more appealing all the time. End report. Not going inside. Fucking O'Brien. Did you hear me? He's not that. If you were going in, didn't say I was. Subjects are not sleeping. They're hibernating. Ever woken up a hibernating bear? No. <sighs> Ever woken up a hibernating freak? Yeah, actually. I was one of the survivors at the White King mine. Jesus. So would tear my body apart like it was peeling a banana. These suits protect you from a lot of shit. But not them. Holy shit, Corporal. Jesus, I'm I'm sorry. That mission was far from, from the start. Which is why we are not going inside there. I think if I sealed up this cave, we'd, I don't know, knock down their population. I don't know, Corporal. A lot of caves out here. Come on, let's get out of here. See the caves? Yeah, right, like anyone gives a damn.
heard something. You there? Booze man, come back. Deke. Hey, I'm here. I wrote out a farewell. The Nero guy, the soldier, or whatever the hell he was, who took Sarah. What, what are you? He had an ID badge. What was the name? Oh, God. O'Brien. He wouldn't shut up about it. All the way out to Three Finger Jack. Okay, he's alive, Boozer. He's alive. What are you talking about? talking about we were there the whole camp was wiped out no I know that but I heard okay look I went into their LZ and they wait wait you you went into their LZ what the just listen to me I heard them over the radio they were talking about a man named O'Brien don't not Boozer I'm not I'm just hey okay, uh get some sleep Deacon out we're on a patrol. Shit! This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The start of this living hell that is now our life came as a surprise to no one who was listening to me when shit went down. And I was one of the few. Most who spoke out against the feds, well... Cemeteries are filled with martyrs. Those who sought to call out the bullshit and the lies when they saw it. I know. Because they came after me. I started Radio Free Oregon in the last weeks before the fence fell. Broadcast from an unmarked van, moving from town to town. In the days before the roads came choked with cars and the bridges destroyed, trying in vain to stop the freaks. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. No, Cope, the cemeteries are filled with freakers, not martyrs. And you had to keep moving because if anyone had found your unmarked band, they'd have blown it to hell. Just so we wouldn't have to listen to your bullshit Radio Free Oregon. <laughs> Sniper on the road. Oh, God damn it. Oh, shit. None now. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> Ambush you, yeah? Okay, here we go. How'd you go? Come on, come on, come on.
They're not trying to reclaim. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> I said. Wow. Come on, giggity.
Another nest. Let's go. Never gonna make it. Bike is damaged. I can fix this. That should Oof. do it. No, get on the fucking bike. Bastards have been ambushing all the supply runs around here, haven't you? If you're crossing the road two years ago, you would have gone splat.
infestation zone. I guess I'll come back here and finish burning this infestation zone later. Tucker, Alki. Over at the dig site. Well, which one, goddammit? The north one. Back there. If anybody touches this bike or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. Jesus.